My name is Mike Stevenson and I'm Director of Science and Technology at the British Geological Survey. Imagine that we could take a cube of rock from that area there, about a kilometre by a kilometre by a kilometre, a huge cube of rock, cut it out and lift it up out of the ground so that we could actually see it. That's what we're going to do, not literally, but imagine that we've taken a great big cube of rock out to see what it can do for us. For generations, observatories have looked to the stars, but now's the time to look right under our feet. From one of the most important scientific organisations in the world comes a project that will help shape all our futures for the better. It's really exciting. Like Droddle Bank that looks up into the sky, our observatory will be looking down under the ground. We still don't know what we're going to see, but we all know how exciting Droddle Bank was. The British Geological Survey, nearly two centuries of pioneering research, now dedicated to delivering new ways to understand the underground for the Natural Environment Research Council. The UK Geoenergy Observatories. Two locations, in Cheshire and the Glasgow city area. What will actually be there is a number of deep boreholes. Sampling the rocks, sampling the fluids. A doctor's stethoscope feeling down into the underground. We'll be putting equipment into each hole. Processing all the data together in a constant way. We're here to measure and monitor and understand. So we can get a clear picture of a whole volume of rock. This is purely a scientific enterprise. They're simply to observe. Just listening to the Earth's natural breathing, if you like. This is a fairly unique uh, uh, installation or, or observatory. This is going to be important for the whole of the UK. Important for science. Important for the economy. A different way to see the UK. Vitally important for all of us as we face a changing world. What we have in the UK is a challenge. We want to be able to keep our houses warm, to keep industry working, but can't keep putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So how will it work and how does it help? The boreholes do different jobs and it's how deep they go that matters. In Cheshire, shallow holes between 50 and 100 metres down We'll be looking at water quality in the ground and how water moves through the rock. In an environment like this where you've got lots of industry, chemical works and other factories, we need to understand how to protect the groundwater. Any development that changes that, we'll be able to pick that up. Day by day, minute by minute, second by second, we'll be measuring that groundwater. Some boreholes will go deeper and as they do, their work changes. Up to 600 metres down, they'll be looking at the very small natural movement of the ground. We will be able to detect earthquakes on the other side of the earth. The only way you can see these sorts of uh, stress releases are with very sensitive instruments down deep boreholes. At this depth, they'll also look at the chemistry of the rock and the liquid and gas that naturally seeps through it. What we're trying to do is establish what the conditions are like now. There's a whole series of things we do with a subsurface that we need to understand better. That data will be yours for anyone to look at and for anyone to use. The scientific understanding will help us, uh, you know, globally. And there'll be one hole that goes even deeper, down below a kilometre. Access this far down is rare and vital to help research into future greener technologies. You want to put energy in, you want to store energy, in you want to take energy out in some form, it's really important that you understand about the strength of rocks and how they deform. It might be that there are some unpleasant truths to be found and if, if that is the case then we will find them and we will be exposing them. In the Glasgow region there's one more factor. This is a city built on coal. The mines have gone but the hidden workings remain and now they're filled with water. Looking at the possibility of geothermal energy. But enough to warm homes. So we can move away from fossil fuels. It's a very specific location 
but the processes are generic. The, the potential for geothermal is enormous. If we, if we can crack that nut and reduce the costs and improve the efficiencies, it's going to be a huge contribution to not just the UK's energy scene, but worldwide. More and more of the solutions for energy, for security and tackling climate change lie beneath the Earth's surface. What UK Geoenergy Observatories can do is start helping de-risk that process, reducing cost, producing better monitoring tools and more effective solutions. So we can understand what the most effective set of technologies we could use to store and manage energy in the subsurface could be. We're going to take a virtual cube of rock and study it in more detail than anyone has ever studied rock before. I would take comfort in the fact that you have independent scientists actually doing this sort of research you know, right on your doorstep. It, it's our responsibility to be that independent, responsible organisation that communicates what we see happening. Society as a whole is going to be a lot better for this.